I'm Jackie Herrera and this is ASA TV. I'm standing here at the Hospira booth with David Albert. He is the Area Sales Director of Anesthesia and Critical Care. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, Jackie? Really good. Thank you. Now, tell us about the partnership between Hospira and ASA and why you guys decided to become an industry supporter. The ASA is a core constituency for Hospira. Our relationship dates back more than 70 years with anesthesia. Access to the 14,000 attendees here and the industry support role that we play, it enables the, our Hospira businesses to interact with the ASA leadership. Now, the company philosophy for Hospira is creating wellness through the right people and the right products. And this unique opportunity with the Hospira team and meeting the business leaders here gives us the opportunity to engage with the thought leaders. And that way, it enhances our understanding of the current and the future needs in the field of anesthesia. So that way, Hospira can align our people with the right people and the right products. Yeah, it sounds like a great partnership. Tell us about how it benefits Hospira to be a part of the program. Well, it benefits Hospira because having our industry aligned and knowledgeable of the ASA initiatives and what the constituency is focusing on, that allows the industry supporters on our side to glean insight into how anesthesia is, is growing and continuing to develop. That way we can best support and align now and moving forward. Great, so how do you think that the partnership affects ASA members? Well, having the ability to interface with the members on the floor, it allows us to provide insight into what we're working on and what's available in the industry that they may not otherwise be aware of. Very nice, so tell us, what do you see for the future in you know next five to 10 years? Well, that really is a hard Thing to predict, but given the current environment of continued pressures on healthcare, improving quality of care, providing even better patient outcomes, and then doing all that and minimizing the overall cost of care, those challenges are not going to go away anytime soon. So, healthcare providers are continuing to develop innovative solutions to support their goals and to provide value. That's how we see the next five to ten years developing. Well, and overall, how do you think the program affects anesthesiology? Well, the program helps anesthesia because it gives us the insight of how it, the ASA views the future, uh, how they're working to prepare their members for what's coming, uh, what they need to do to, to respond to the changes, and that helps both the industry and us position ourselves to best support each other in the future. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for your time today, David, and uh, you know, positivity for the future and growth in anesthesiology is what we're looking forward to. So, you are watching ASA TV.